Yo, what's going on guys, Double J12 and welcome back to the channel, man. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's still NBA related, but I just wanted to speak my mind on this real quick, man. Now, we all know about the whole Daryl Morey thing. Pretty sure I messed up his last name. Um, that pretty much happened. You know, he tweeted out his support for the protesters and Hong Kong, China, and the NBA wasn't having it, you know, because... China is where the NBA make a lot of money. So because of that tweet, NBA was not having it. And it is now being reported that China is planning to ban all NBA games from playing this season. First, they wanted to just ban the Rockets game, but now they're planning to ban all NBA games from being played in China this season. That just goes to show you like exactly what's going on in China right now and make you a little bit more glad to be in america that you don't have to go through stuff like this where a president or whatever they call them whoever's in charge in china could just cancel an entire nba season because somebody tweeted something that he did not like but that's not the point of this video man the point of this video is about stephen a smith so stephen a smith pretty much went on his radio show and said this uh, rockets general manager Daryl Morey sent out in support of those protesters. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. I have nothing to say. Daryl Morey, a good man, an exceptional executive, and a conscientious human being. What were you thinking speaking up on this issue? It's about a multitude of people that extends far beyond yourself that you have compromised because you had this insatiable appetite to disseminate a tweet. You don't know better than that? What am I saying here? I'm saying that Daryl Morey had an obligation to think about the Houston Rockets organization and about the National Basketball Association before himself particularly when all that entailed you was an impulse. Did anybody take a moment to think about what this may have done to Yao Ming? Whatever debates we may have about how their nation is different than ours and how their rights might differ from ours and what have you, who's to say that Yao Ming wasn't working towards progress. And how there's a dance that he's got to exercise in the process of trying to facilitate better relations to the point where greater influence can ultimately come about. And how those words alone might have compromised him in his own nation. And we have an obligation to take that into consideration before we open our mouth and take the counter position that could potentially compromise Walt Disney, ESPN, or anything else. You have an obligation to adopt and embrace the interest of those you collect a paycheck from. You don't just think about yourself when you act. That's what boys and girls do. That's what children do. Grown-ups. All right, so you guys saw the video, man. Stephen A. Smith had the nerve to say that Daryl Morrow, you just can't be thinking about yourself. You got to be thinking about the Houston Rockets. You got to be thinking about the NBA as a whole. Just for tweeting out his opinion about how he feel about a certain situation. Now, the hypocrisy of Stephen A. Smith comment come from when he said that when you... There's certain stuff that you don't talk about, you know, like you don't talk about politics and all that stuff. That's the same Stephen A. Smith that went on ESPN to talk about how he feel, how the NFL was mistreating Collins Kaepernick. So now all of a sudden, Stephen A. Smith is telling Daryl Moore that he's not allowed to speak his opinion. It is crazy what people are willing to do, man, just for money. We all know the NBA sells a lot of jersey. They sell a lot of shoes. They sell a lot of stuff, period. And not to mention the views that they get from China. Uh, it's been reported that at least 
300 million something like that people would at least watch one nba game in china and that's a lot of money that the nba is making man so all those guys they are being told by whoever's in charge like to go on tv and pretty much just bash daryl Morey for what he said those are the same people that have no problem when lebron james come out and say how he feel about you know certain political issues they praise lebron james for that especially when lebron james is talking about the president of the united states they praise him for that but their moe cannot go on twitter and tweet how he feel about what's going on in china right now and if you guys don't know what's going on in china right now i suggest you do some research what, whatever what's going on in china right now man it's a mess man let's just put it that way and then i was also disappointed in james harden man james harden pretty much went and he said james harden went on and he said you know we appreciate the fan base we love everything there about them we appreciate the support that they gave us and the individually and as an organization yeah james i'm pretty sure you appreciate everything that they do for you individually because once again, I'm going to keep saying this over and over because this is what it boils down to. It's about money. James Harden sells a lot of jersey in China, which means James Harden will have more money. I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's weird to me seeing all those guys pretending like they don't know what's going on just because they're afraid that China might cut ties with them. China's already doing that anyways. They are, like I said, it's been reported that they are planning to ban all NBA games until further notice. So we don't know if it's going to be for the entire season. We don't know if it's going to be for a couple of games. We don't know, man. But as of right now, they're planning to ban the NBA from being played on TV in China. Just disappointed in Stephen A. Smith, man. Disappointed in Stephen A. Smith that he's willing to pretty much sell out just for money. Telling the guy that he needs to grow up. He needs to grow up for tweeting that he support the protesters for fighting back for freedom. Something that we have here that we enjoyed every day. You telling him that he needs to grow up for tweeting that. But you have no problem getting on TV and talking about how you feel about Cap. And the fact that Stephen A. Smith said you are, you know, like you can't be thinking about yourself. You got to be thinking about your team. Why didn't you keep that same energy with Cap? You did not keep that same energy. You supported what he was doing, and as you should. But for some reason, when it comes to China, you can't give their more the same respect. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. But that's the end of today's video. Just wanted to share my opinion on it. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe some of you guys don't know about it. And then if you don't, maybe I was able to help shed some light. And if you did know about it, man, let me know how you feel in the comment section below, man. It's just crazy how the NBA is just so obsessed with money. They make it seem like Daryl Moore just tweeted something that you are just not allowed to tweet. And maybe you're not. When it comes to doing business with China, maybe you're not allowed to tweet those kind of stuff. But let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below, man. I'm out. Peace.